Yeah, I think more are being printed. Church and to this extraordinary concert as part of this year's St. Marlebon Festival. The whole conceit of our festival each year is to tell the story of St. Marlebon and the people, the places, the institutions that are connected with it. For the last 36 years, St. Marlebon Parish Church has provided a centre of psychotherapy and counselling and we employ, as a parochial church council, now four psychiatrists and 26 analytical psychotherapists. That work finished through the whole of lockdown, as you can imagine, with much of the work being done online, although tomorrow we will begin seeing clients again here at the parish church. We also have a very large GP practice, which is based in the crypt. So the work of wholeness and healing both for the body, the soul, and for the mind, is very much part of our identity here at St. Marlebon. And we are very excited to welcome students in the Guild Hall, people who have provided text and inspiration for much of the music, composers, singers, and Gavin Roberts, who is our director of music here at St. Marlebon and is the creative director of this festival. So I hope that you will all have a wonderful time. It's quite a challenging program from what I've heard. Um, and that is as it should be, as people have wrestled uh, with mental health, perhaps, in a way that they have not done previously through these days of COVID, which has increased so much anxiety for so many people across the whole of the country. The toilets, if I may say, are not through that door. The toilets are outside the building, and where you can see the darkness beyond the windows, Toilets there. There's a disabled access toilet, gents' toilets, and ladies' toilets. Just follow the signs to the Marlborough Health Centre and you will get to the toilets. So please use those when you wish, uh, and there will be a bar available uh, with soft drinks as well after this performance. But now over to Creative Minds, Song in the City, the Guild Hall, Mind, and all of you. Thank you. Isosceles Triangle. Isosceles. I isolate, but never know until it's too late that thinking, thinking, thinking isn't reaching. Bed springs eternal. Oil slumber, thoughts searching helpless paths laid by problems that steal our mind, but hope steals them back. The cracks 
cracks in the wall let the light in. Hope for a life that's right. But hope is unjust.
chains to the chair. No freedom to move around. Chained by society. No freedom to express myself. Chained by restrictions. Not being able to see people's lips. Chained by coronavirus. Not being able to touch and hug. Chained by desperation, frustration, and rumours. Invisible chains ever wrapping themselves tighter and tighter every day.
Curtain, draw back.
drifting upon crystal sky, calling to all who hear.
Uh, this place has seen many, many extraordinary performances and many, many gifts of music and words over its 900 years. Um, that must be amongst the most extraordinary and the finest of those offerings. And I do think that, once again, you must give another extraordinary round of applause to what we've just heard and seen. And thank you all uh, for what you have done. It has, really has been wonderful. Uh, our festival continues. Uh, this is, uh, I think, number three in so far of the week's activities. Tonight at seven o'clock, we have an extraordinary performance of Ivan Novello, or Mrs. Novello and Son. Novello and Son, I think that's what it's called, isn't it? And we have both Mrs. Novello and Ivan here with us at the moment. Uh, but tonight, seven o'clock, a wonderful performance telling another bit of the story of St. Marlebone and the extraordinary people that have made it up over the centuries. Every day, one o'clock, seven o'clock, come back please and join us uh, for more wonderful music making. I should have said earlier on that we are partly supported by the, the Heritage Fund, the National Lottery, and also I think it's Baker Street Quarter today uh, who have also provided some of the funding uh, to make this concert possible. So thank you to Baker Street Quarter and to the Heritage Fund uh, for their input. Uh, you will have heard, I'm very sorry, a bit of our extraordinary building works that are going on. That should not have happened. They were due not to start again 
till half past two. So my apologies to those who are performing. I didn't know at first whether it was part, because we had such, a mus <laughs> such an extraordinary musical soundscape. I'm sure my, my, my beloved Bluesner will never be the same again, having been plucked and banged and all sorts of things. But uh, it was worth it, all in the cause of art. Um, anyway, uh, please come back and see us again. Thank you again for what you've done. If you'd like to, a drink before you go, then the bar is open, soft drinks as well as others. So uh, the afternoon is yours, but thank you and bless you all. It's been wonderful. Thank you.